Hello everybody, my name is Alaka and welcome to my get together. Today we're working on making the cutest little charcuterie cups that are going to be perfect for your holiday appetizer table or really any appetizer table for any upcoming party. Your guests will love munching and nibbling on this cute little jar that they can take around the party with them and it's so adorable and easy to make and festive. So let's get started. Charcuterie jars are exactly what they sound. Charcuterie is jammed into a jar. And I absolutely love this idea. It's nothing new, it's something I created. I can't take credit for it. But being an app, a blog focused on party food, especially finger foods and appetizers, I feel like I had to have my own version of charcuterie cups on the blog. So this recipe is on the blog. Make sure you like and subscribe and visit the link below if you want to print it out. So before we get started, you're gonna need to get some type of little jars like this. These I got from the dollar store today. You can usually find little mini jars somewhere in your dollar store. These are a great size. These are also an option, but they're kind of small. If you wanna use the smaller ones, fine, but the, all of the, the accoutrement that I'm throwing in, this one may not fit in here, but you can still do your own version. This recipe is extremely customizable to your likes, needs, and your guests' allergies and dietary restrictions and so forth. So feel free to play around with it and just have fun because these are super fun and of course very delicious. So once you find your jars, we're going to first assemble them bottom up and work our way to some good height because the height is really makes them like, wow. Like your guests are gonna be like, whoa, that's so cool. Like, how did you make them? I was like, yes I did, yes I did. It was all my idea, that's not. <laughs> so the first thing we wanna do is add nuts. So I found these caramelized nuts, uh, walnuts, in the store. They usually sell them in the package um, already sugared or caramelized like these and they add a good sweetness to your charcuterie cup, charcuterie. I'm gonna add a couple to the bottom. Then I'm going to add almonds to my bottom of my jar next because I think feel like they go really well with cheese, but you can do pecans or cashews or even pistachios. Next, I'm going to add some more sweet items such as raisins or dried cranberries. Adds color and is super holiday festive. Next, I'm going to use these Mediterranean, it really doesn't matter where they're from, as long as they're dried apricots. I'm going to put it on the side of the jar so that when you turn the jar, you see the color because it's all about presentation, yeah. And then some prunes. They're just dried plums, right? And I'll add that to that side of the jar as well. Next, we're going to add some dates. These are medjool dates and they have them everywhere in the either produce or cheese aisle. And this guy is pretty big. You can see how big he is. You can cut him in half or you can just add the whole thing in there. I'm gonna add him in there. Next, I'm gonna add some cheese crisps. I'm sure you've seen these in the store. They're 100% keto friendly, so if you have a lot of gluten free or um, people watching their diet, these would be a really great option to add into there. And they're salty and they're straight parm. Next, we're gonna be adding these cheese crisps, Parmesan cheese. They're fun to eat with the cheese that we're gonna add later. Now let's add our height to our charcuterie because if we don't add it now, then we're not gonna have room to stick it in later. So first, grab some breadsticks. These are the ones I found in the grocery store. They're from the Bruno Brothers. It might be a little bit too tall for your jar, so you'd be the judge. If we need to cut it in half, just, whoop, just snap it in half so that it's not so high. You can also use the ones with the sesame uh, seeds, which are really fun, but I didn't see them today. Next, we're going to be using this brand has a fun melted Parmesan cheese stick twist. And I feel like these just add so much flair and fun to your jars. Look how cute they are. So add that guy in there. Next, I found this package from my cheese aisle as well. They are little 
everything bagel crackers, but look how cute they are because they're thin, long, and tall. And we're gonna use it for nice, some nice height in our charcuterie. And you guys can see how we're building it up there. Next, we're gonna assemble our skewers, okay? Now you can see here, I have two skewers, one here and one here. I'm gonna be working on two separate ones and then putting them next to each other. These metal skewers I got from Amazon, I will link to them below. So we're gonna first add a pop of color. You can see on the top here, I have this, this it's called A, and I've never heard of this before until I saw it today. It's called a Pepperazzi Pepper, and you can see they're from Delalo. I just, the bright red color of the pepper caught my eye, and I think it's really fun, especially if you're serving these for Christmas or any holiday. Pardon me. And I'm gonna skewer it like this, okay? And then underneath it, I'm gonna add a mozzarella ball, okay? The mozzarella balls, olives, all of that stuff are usually in your grocery store's olive bar. And if you don't have one, you guys need to go to a grocery store that has an olive bar because it has literally everything you would want from uh, or to make a charcuterie board. Okay, and doesn't it kind of like a little Santa hat? <laughs> Next, you can add what you want, but I'm going to add an olive, a Kalamata olive because I'm Greek and I love the Kalamata olives. You can add green olives too if you want. We're gonna add one to the other side. Okay, and we're gonna stick this guy in, okay? On the other side of our charcuterie, charcuterie cup is this cool little guy that I found also in the food store. So just peruse, take your time and look to see what they have. Now, they have some pretty cool things. These are um, charcuterie bites they're called and they're basically just prosciutto, mozzarella, and basil all wrapped into a little swirl and it saves a lot of work and time for us and they look so adorable. I'm gonna put that on top so you can see it when it's sticking out. And then below that, you can really add whatever you want. I personally love these gigantic beans. They're like giant white beans and they have them marinated also in the olive bar section. And then from this point forward, you can really add any cheeses that you like. I love this. Rosemary olive oil cheese. Do you guys see the rosemary on it? And then I love a good cheddar. So I got some kava, kabat, kava, cheddar. We're gonna cut the cheese. Just a little bit here. I'm gonna add some cheddar. cheddar. And then be careful. We don't really wanna add white on white because there's no really color pop there. So to break it up, you can add a green olive, which I love, and it's stuffed with blue cheese. And then you can add your Asiago rosemary, okay? And really, you can put anything you want on here. If you wanna add a tomato or something red, like red peppers or um, maybe another type of olive, you can. And I'm gonna put this on this side, okay? They're battling, okay? You guys see this so far? Now I'm going to Fill in the gaps here with some more, really whatever you want. But first, before I do that, I'm going to add our cute little salami and pepperoni uh, piece there. So to do that, you're gonna wanna take a piece of salami. And I just get these packages from, again, the food store. They're already sliced. And I like that brand. This brand I've never heard of, but I just like that they're already pre-sliced. You can even ask your deli guy to do it. So we're gonna put a pepperoni slice on top, flip it over and add the other pepperoni because it's so, to make it like a little pepperoni sandwich. And we're gonna fold it, okay? And then we're gonna fold it again and like that. And if you want, you can even try to fold it three times. Now we're going to skewer it. I like it three times because you can really see the color. And we're gonna skewer and use our little wooden skewers to hold it together. And this is optional, but I like doing it. Okay, do you see? I'm just gonna add that right there. Lastly, I'm going to fill in any holes with any extra cheese, grapes, or colorful items to make it pop. So I'm gonna add green grapes and another orange apricot to really make it 
beautiful. So maybe I can add that there, or I'll add that here in the front. Then I'll add a couple grapes, because it's a charcuterie board or a cup without some grapes, right? And voila. And if you want, you could really just add, you can add another walnut to the top, and you can, you can just pile it on and make it super, super cute and festive. So we're not gonna go shy with rosemary. You're gonna go to either Produce Junction, if you guys have that near you, or any produce store that has a lot of rosemary for cheap, because you're gonna want a lot of it. And you're just going to shove that in there, and that should really be like the statement piece. There we go. Ooh. Let's put them on this side, okay? It's easy, it's cute, it's fun, it's different, it's unique, and it's filling. So if this is all you serve on your appetizer table, your guests will not be disappointed, okay? Fun! For the full recipe, visit the link below. You can print out all the ingredients that I've used. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you guys can get more delicious appetizer recipes for your next get together. Have a great day.